Hello and welcome Pixels, 25 Games is here and today I want to continue with this Hey Card tutorial series. In the last episode I was drawing the concept, uh, which is this one here and I was creating as well the bottom view of this here and the side view. Um, and I want to create a 3D prop asset which will be exported as, as an FBX and imported to Unity and I will start to um, create or prepare the concept uh, and the side views and will upload this then to Blender and start modeling. This will be today in this episode I don't know how far will come so I will definitely start with the uh, with a rough blocking mesh and come into detail in maybe the this episode or the next one and continue with the texture later as well. So let's start now. This video is made with the video editing tool Camtasia 2019 from TechSmith. Check out our link in the description below. Okay, so we are here in Photoshop and I don't need this sketch right now. So that this little creature here will be our size model so that I can adjust the size of this hay card to this animal and then I have the correct size in Unity as well. But currently we don't need this. I just will um, zoom out and need, sorry, this little toolbar here <coughs> and We'll cut the concept. So just the side view. This is enough. And yes, let's save this as a JPEG. Okay, this is view side. Okay, and JPEG is okay. All right. So basically I'm working on my graphic tablet, so this is the reason why the main me text messages come to the other screen. So then we need to go back, zoom out, and make the same thing with the bottom, bottom view. Should be working, so you see here are the the wheels and this is the underneath side of this. Um, I thought the bottom view isn't necessary at all because we, it is the main technical construct is the is on the bottom side. So um, I decided to take the bottom view and not the top view. I don't need a front or back view. This is I will care about this in Blender later. Um, so this is the reason why I just draw this side. Basically, if you draw a concept for a 3D artist and it, uh, you are not working on the 3D model as well, then it is maybe necessary to draw as well a front or back view. Um, but for me, I care about the texture, about the concept, about the 3D model and everything like this and about the UV layout as well. Um, so I, I know what to do here, so it's fine for me in my, in my reason. So then I want to save this here as well. This is side and I will call this um, bottom. Save this as well. And basically I guess we should be done here. Um, we have now here the, the side view and here the bottom view. Um, and if we need it as well, okay, I will, I will disable this one here and go just with the concept itself should be as well an own JPEG so that I can, as uh, looking at it as well as a reference <coughs> concept. Okay. This is fine. So, okay, now we have our three images. The first one is the concept, bottom and side view. 
don't save this because I want to have all this data later as well. Okay, <clears throat> let's go to Blender. Um, and this is a completely new scene here. Um, there's nothing important. I just click here on new general and got this scene here. So uh, this is a completely new scene. The first thing is I want to import I want to import the image views and the image planes. Oh, sorry, this is not the correct folder. So when I go here to the side view and I drag and drop this image just to Blender, it's immediately here and you see, okay, it's in this angle and <clears throat> it's actually not, not very good. So this you can now start to Mm, adjust everything and maybe bring it to, to the position and to correct angle and then everything is like this or you gave for example to top view is as well working and then you just go to your folder and drag and drop the image here to blender and then you have it as well here in the in the correct mm, dimensions or in the correct location and there's no rotation on it at all um, but we need this basically not from top view we need this from so I will delete it we need this from side view and this is important so go here to this again bam then we go to top view or to bottom view doesn't matter um, again to my folder and drag and drop it here mm. okay where, where. so here it is um, and now we have our two images just on the zero the zero point um, basically the rotation is correct so the orientation is okay but we need to maybe scale it a little better or something like this. So for example, this is not the correct position. If we go here, you see that this is now okay. So for example, here this part or here on this part that this is correctly working when we start modeling later. Um, when I go again to maybe bottom view, or to side view. Um, I want to bring this to the very top here because when I'm looking at it later in, in the bottom view that I have this in the background or should I, it is as well working for example that you put it somewhere here on the bottom on the ground and and put a transparency or some opacity to it. Um, and this here as well. You can put it in the front and put some opacity to it, or you put it in the background, in the background, and then you are modeling here, and you see this in the background. This depends completely what you prefer, how to work, but. The first, so this was the first step, but the next step would be in my, in my workflow to bring in something which is, which give me a feeling of size. So what is necessary? How big is this object actually? If you start modeling right now, then yeah, you, you model this and then you upload or import this to Unity and then you see, okay, it's very tiny or wow, it's really big and very huge. And, Okay, you need to scale it in Unity, but I want to have a proper scaled prop which is being exported from from Blender and then imported to Unity. And I don't need to care about size there anymore because if if a script or something is working with scale, then you have a problem. So it's very important for me to work with the correct size, with the correct scaling. Um, and then we have less problems in Unity later. Probably. It depends really what you want to do with this prop. Okay, but I go now to 
let's import now this feeling of scale, which is actually a prepared scaled object. And mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I will upload or imp import this animal right now here. I have already modeled this. It's, I don't know when I started with this animal here, but it's already in 3D. And I just want to, sorry, my brain, <laughs> just go to import FBX and I saved it here under 3D creatures. And here's the animal crumple digital mesh. Import this. And you see, okay, it's a little bit bigger than our references here. So our hay card would be very tiny if it if we import this to Unity later. So yeah, <laughs> let's bring this into the proper scale. Um, <laughs> at first, this is this one. I want to have it as well to side view, rotate it uh, on the Z axis. So R plus Z is rotate on the Z axis and then I give it 90 degrees and so it's absolutely perfect to uh, rotate that. And what I need to do now is to scale this up, oh maybe this here as well, um, as well rotate Z. 90 degrees. Um, well, so bring this image planes to uh, keep this in the middle and just move this body mm, wherever we need this. But first, go for example to side view and select both images so that I have the front, um, the side view, and the bottom view and just scale them so that they have the equal size. So I would recommend you to scale both of them at the same time so that they have the same scale at all. Um, go to side view and we need to... Uh, I'm currently confused why this is... Oh, what? <laughs> okay, sorry guys, uh, I accidentally replaced this while placing the bottom view. I replaced the image plane at all, so I just drag and drop the bottom plane over the side plane and then they was replaced. So just do this again by drag and drop the side here and then it will be replaced if you have any mistake there okay but this was my this was my I, I haven't seen this this is really weird anyway let's try to hmm, where should be the the origin maybe somewhere here or somewhere here I don't really know maybe as well here this would be great so keep an eye where is the ground? It should be as well in zero axis. Um, and now we need to uh, scale it to a proper size. You know, what is the actual size of this hay cart here? And this looks actually really okay. So if we keep an eye here on the on this wood, mm, I don't know the correct word, but this should be somewhere connected to his neck here. As you can see here in the concept and the tail should be um, kept in front of this hay cart so that it is not going under these wheels here when they are when they are moving um, but I'm thinking is this a good size maybe a little bit bigger hmm something like this looks or is this too big it's actually very big um, 
We need to keep an eye as well on how big is a human, what is the size of a human. And I guess the human is actually like this. So we have here one meter, two meter, three meter. And our humans are a little bit bigger than an original human. But we have here around two and three. And when we think he is two meters is actually really big and those wheels are now two meters big so maybe a little bit bigger as uh, a little bit smaller here like this so they are now two meters and here is the gap or here's the top part now i want to bring this to zero so that this part here this angle is on the zero position here and and I will bring it down so somewhere here this is okay and this hmm should be in the front I guess somewhere here it's totally fine if it's that far away because it will get some opacity and the opacity let us see what is behind this plane where can we adjust this this opacity um it's not here anymore and in blender 2.79 it was there so yeah the the fastest and easiest way is to just select it and go here to object data or this image icon here and you see that we have here the transparency and it is actually not um, movable at the moment so you just need to check this use alpha and if you enable this then you can adjust the transparency or the opacity and you see through this image and this is very helpful for modeling so i need to do the same for this image plane here so use alpha and bring it down and everything is now perfectly prepared for modeling um the size is okay um the slide is okay for sure we need to um test this in unity later as well but i think it's 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 fine so um let's keep an eye next to the outliner we have now our three objects and i want to place everything into collections so i press c inside of this outliner here and then c for collection um, and this is my first collection. I will call this image planes because I want to drag and drop them here into them. And so I have here my collection and I can always enable and disable it or just make it unvisible. And as well, I want to bring our animal, our trample, <laughs> the funny name, um, make it create an own creation or an own collection for it and I call this animal crumple and drag and drop this here as well to the collection okay but we don't need this crumble here right now anymore and we can start to model right now look at our concept at first because in the concept you have a three-dimensional feeling of this object and in the views there is yeah maybe you misinterpret something wrong but in the concept you have a good overall feeling yeah for sure the size or the proportions uh, proportions are not 100 percent okay but it's an overall feeling how should be this 3d object and you see that you have here the base foundation of this of this hay card and we have in the bottom part here some technical construct which is for moving it 
moving the wheels into a special directions and this should be completely still or static and yeah so we have here the upper part and the bottom part and the carry part or the part which is connected to the animal and i want to start with yeah with the ground um, with the basement a mesh here which is connected to the bottom part and the as a top part and the bottom part and here the carry part i i will name this now carry part currently i'm not really sure what is the name about this but it should be fine so i will start with this basement mesh now um this is here in this view and when we go to the top view or the bottom view it is this this size here okay go to side view um, and I will just start with a new object shift a for calling up this menu here go to mesh and go to cube uh, what oh sorry guys <laughs> I was creating this cube inside of the disabled uh, collection so mm, not the best start so actually we have here our cube <laughs> it's here but we created this inside of this group or uh, this collection sorry okay so this cube here should be mm, I will place it maybe just right here so that the the bottom size or the bottom face is on the correct um, height and just go to edit mode but with the tabulator key and I will check now if there is a, a screencast function I uh, will be back very soon so all right guys I managed to find a proper screencast um, add-on and this is was pretty nice because it's um, it's called shortcut for master and I just found this on YouTube and implemented it to blender 2.8 because there isn't a proper add-on so far I haven't known this this is well good to know maybe for you as well I can link the this add on in the description as well um, okay go to edit mode I will select the top face go to side view and just bring down this face so that is mm, this this thickness this uh, seems to be okay um, okay not this one we need this face next and just bring it to this position here yes I guess this is absolutely fine when I go to top view um, well maybe to bottom view then I see the white okay this is not exactly in the middle so I need to select this select this and bring it yeah it's it's more or less in the middle but I think it's not a problem if I keep this like this so you see that the the concept ends here and here and my uh, my mesh has this, this, this thickness here so if I go to um, scale and this is X I just scale to the X, to the X direction and I will scale it in this size okay so this is the bottom crown bar uh, the bottom crown mm, area and from this on I will start to build up everything so this walls here of this hay cart or this <coughs> this wheels but I think I will start to build up the the base system here. I will start with the axles in the front and the 
the back axle here and yep okay when I go to the bottom view then I want to create something oh, where's the top the top axle it's this one okay so just new mesh I start with a new cube where's this cube oh is it again here oh my god I don't know why it's always in there I will create a new collection and call this work in progress and place those both mm, objects to this collection hopefully this is no better so <clears throat> um, I will just place it here and scale it down till it fits here um, this is a very good opportunity to split to to add a mirror modifier so that I don't I just have to model one half and the rest is mirrored so I guess I will make this immediately so go to um, to the edge selection edit mode um, select this edge here and press ctrl R to um, add an edge loop and it is exactly in the middle of this mesh so I just have to um, enter this with the left click and um, escape so it's it stays in the middle here because I can move it if I wanna but I wanna this here in the middle as well this cube here um, just go to edit mode select one edge press ctrl R and select it escape and we have split it so where is the front view uh, the side view um, so I want to select all of this here and delete it so we just have one half and here as well select this one and this one and delete the rest basically um, let's check if we have any um, any scaling or rotation there nope and here as well not but I will but I will just apply this now so apply rotation and scale and here as well apply rotation and scale so this is fine now um, as well it's interesting because the origin somewhere here this is as well weird um, I don't like this so I select this vertex and bring the origin to this vertex by making this right click snap vertex cursor to select it then we have here the cursor and now we go to, to object mode and again right click and set the origin to this 3d cursor and now this 3d cursor is here <clears throat> we can move this 3d um, this 3d um, sorry the origin is here we can move this 3d cursor wherever we wanna it doesn't matter anymore but yeah if you need to if you need to place the origin in a special um, position then this is a very good method anyway let's just add now the modifier I go here to modifier section and so it is here so and it is as well perfectly duplicated to the other direction so we can control this here in this panel but we will do the same here with this side add and activate the mirror modifier and now we have a mirrored mesh um, currently we don't see a, a, a good point to do this but if we move now um, and face or <laughs> delete it but sorry but if we move now this face 
the, the, the other side will move as well and so we have a perfectly mirrored side. I will place this somewhere here and again the second part will be iron mm, I will make it like this probably yep I think this is okay and then let's check out the front view by going to 3 and I wanna have here a very nice round shape so this is as well important by going here mesh and go to cylinder and the cylinder is luckily now in this collection here and but this is not a good cylinder it's very huge so we need to modify this a little bit here oh sorry um so we need just six vertices this is enough for a round shape, so we have as well a, some kind of low poly mesh, but we need some detail, so six is okay. The radius is too big, so I will just make it maybe something like this. And the depth is as well too too heavy. So let's make it smaller. So we will adjust it anyway, but this is the first preparation for this. So you go to the side view again. And place it somewhere where it belongs to um, okay currently both objects are <laughs> definitely not in the correct position so I will place it somewhere here because this looks good and the next thing is I will rotate it on the epsilon axis so rotate epsilon 90 degrees so we have the perfect angle for this axis here um, go to 7 control 7 because we are not in the bottom view and I will just place this somewhere here and uh, maybe scale it up just a little bit mm. select this face again I'm thinking about if I should make it bigger or not, so let's move to the front side. <clears throat> Basically it's pretty okay, maybe just a little bit. We should arrange this perfectly, I will snap it anyway later. But so far I just want to place it in a nice way. Um, like this. Is this okay? So now we. I want to snap this. Um, I want to snap this, but how? Let's let's check it out. That they have. That this is in the perfect mirror position. Um, so we have here the epsilon word. Uh, the epsilon uh, value maybe it should be perfectly at the same the same position so we have here the perfect height and here as well um, this cube has in the directly in the middle the x location oh x location is zero really uh, oh, I applied the, I applied this. I understand now. Okay, um, so we need to make this a little bit different. So I just apply here as well a new edge loop, and we see by um, where is this? Uh, the wireframe is here exactly. And by activating this wireframe here, I can see that this is not exact the same height. All right, so I just move it to this position, and it should be okay, really. <clears throat> so again, face selection mode, edit mode, mm, and go to bottom view, and 
Mm. At first, I need to go to site view, sorry. Um, and intrude this face with the button I. So I guess this is fine. I don't like that this, I don't like that this um, picture is not in the center here. So we'll just move it somewhere here. It should be better. Yes. So we have now this face here or this new created face. Yes. Go to top uh, bottom view. <laughs> Sorry. And just extrude it like this. Should be okay, I guess. For now, this is this is okay. For now, this is okay. Um, well, but I I don't will model the wheel right now. This will be in my next episode, I guess. Um, I just want to continue with the bottom system here. So we started here, and I want to create here one long um, wooden beam which is holding the whole system here together so again I want to create a cube this should be as well pretty small something mm, maybe a little bit bigger so that we get this size here you see yep exactly and when we're switching to this side I haven't drawn this here, I know this is a lack of planning, um, but when I draw the bottom side, I was planning to do this, um, to get this nice connection here, and this shouldn't be very, very high, so it's just a long, thin thing, um, again, side view, and... I think I was planning to do this for the whole for the whole bar here, uh, but I'm not completely sure anymore. So when I go to the bottom side, um, okay, I just placed it here. This isn't that bad. It's okay. Yep. So we got now the underneath side here. Probably, <clears throat> probably it can be a little bit higher, but not too high. So it should be just a, as a system which is holding together this whole <clears throat> cart here. Sorry, I'm, I'm a little bit, I have a cold, I guess, because in the night, <laughs> The, the wind was a little bit blowing in, in the in the bedroom. Now my my voice is not the best one. So the next step is I want to create or duplicate as well this wooden beam here on this side. This is not just one beam. This is one on the left side and one on the right side. So we'll just duplicate it and bring it into shape. One here. So, all right, and this this wooden beam here shouldn't be here in the middle. I want to place this uh, somewhere here because this should be really this should be really um, a solid system here. It would be very interesting if I duplicate this. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> and this should be merged, or I want to boolean this. Probably I should do this. So I will just remove this mirror modifier so far. And go to edit mode, select this edge loop here. 
and I guess I haven't activated auto merge editing so let's check this out I'll go here to options and here is the auto merge editing function so um, hmm. it's very important this little um, function was play was removed and placed so often during this beta state of oh sorry sorry so just me um, is it now yep it's now merged so we just deleted this edge ring here it's okay um I think we need just to fill this right now because boolean is oh very is only working with um with closed objects so they shouldn't be open at all um for sure very often this is working but this could be lead to problems this could lead to problems yes all right um go again to the modifier section and go to boolean and i select now this one and this should be not different it should be a union yes and i apply this so we have now the original object which we don't need anymore and the combined object which is now perfectly merged to the rest of this um, but it isn't tidied up and I don't like un <laughs> unfinished uh, or I don't like end guns you know end guns faces with more than four sides and so I just um, tidy up everything here so we have one single um, construct or only tries around here and this face is as well working um, in a nice way <clears throat> so let's remove this face here again and now we can apply again the mirror modifier to the other direction so we have as well this little part here and it would be very interesting to add an array but not in this direction this array should let's check it out can we drag and drop this array? Sorry. So, yeah, one to the one um, step over the mirror modifier. So the mirror modifier is the second step, not the first step. So it's the second step, and this is important so that this array will be doubly uh, mirrored as well. So first we make the array and then the mirror. You understand? And now we need to um, adjust everything. Uh, I guess this should be zero. And now let's move it somewhere where we need our axle. Mm, yep, somewhere here, I guess okay so looks much more better if we have <laughs> so, um, if we have more geometry here um, as well it's very important that we don't apply this mirror um, this modifier so far because maybe we want to change something later um, so I keep the mirrors uh, <laughs> Sorry, so I keep this um, modifiers on this mesh so far and if everything is working and if we are happy with the result then we can apply it and maybe tidy up the rest of it or something like this. Um, hmm. I don't know how big this should be. Um, basically this is in my opinion a little bit too big. So it should be just this one and move it. Looks good. Looks good. Maybe this is too much, so I will bring this as well. 
more to this direction um, and set origin to geometry so we bring the origin back to the middle um, this is as well very important and okay now we need to make this step to where's the 3d the 3d cursor here let's bring the 3 d cursor to zero again um, or what let me think no no we need to bring the origin we need to bring the origin to this 3d cursor yeah this is it okay set the origin to this 3d cursor so that we have it exactly in the zero axis uh, zero point and now we can very easily again mirror this and it's exactly in the same position because it's mirrored on this line or basically on the zero point and and otherwise it would be mirrored to this side and we don't want this we want to have this exactly in the other position here and we can always disable or remove it by this button here it's very handy um, perfect perfect so yeah we're making a nice progress so far but there's still much work to do for example we have here this mm, holding bars or this wooden beams here which will be as well very nice um, I need to think very quickly if I can yep the thing is if I make now the, the UV cut on one object for example this one here and then I will duplicate it then I have the UV layout as well on the other object as well so I just have to make the UV layout one time and everything is done so if I go now, for example, here, in the isolate mode, and go to edit mode, um, edit an edge, and select all these little bars here, all oh, these edges here, um, and right click, mark seam, now we have here the scene and we don't need the time, timeline here at all so I go here to the UV editor and by drag and drop it here um, I just press U to unwrap this and yeah you see it's already unwrapped um, if you duplicate this is as well on the mirrored object as well but if we duplicate this now, um, we don't need to do the UV layout for this as well. So we can now leave this mode. And now I duplicate this object. I don't need the mirror modifier here anymore. Need to apply the origin to the middle again to origin to geometry and rotate it on the set axis on 90 degrees and this should be working all right um, let's bring it here mm. So this is the epsilon direction, so I will just place it here, scale, epsilon, so we get this size, and scale, set, so we get this size, and the only thing is now that we need to scale x as well. So only a little bit yep looks nice oh no 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 this doesn't look nice we need to bring 
we need to bring the x position to zero and now we can scale to x sorry i forgot this so we have exactly the mirrored um, scale on the other side as well all right i apply now rotation scale as well on this object and go again to the side view and I'm not sure we have already made here the UV layout yep but I will duplicate it one time hmm wanna duplicate it one time And there's another time here. How does it look like? Mm, it looks pretty okay to me. All right. So this system is is uh, static so the wheels are static they can't move at all but this this front part here should be movable so we can um, direct to a left or right and how we are doing this um, ba -bum -ba -bum. I think I will just duplicate this here again and bring it to a position where yep this should work so scale x that we get exactly this position here and again I want to go to edit mode split it and completely select the, the left side and remove it because we will mirror this now again as well. So mirror, where's the mirror modifier? And it's working already. Nice. And what I want to do now here, why is this round? I'm not sure. Let's check it out from the concept. Ah, uh, this is round. Shouldn't be, should be round? Really? Hmm. Now this depends what we want to do. So, but I think I will just select this face here, go again to bottom view and duplicate this one. So we have here the iron part around. This would be all iron and this is wood. So I created now the front part here. This should be this long axis what we should hold everything together and where this iron part will be as well um, and I need now the connection from this to this one um, and this should be definitely not in this position so I switch back to H um, <clears throat> I switch back to the side view and pull it somewhere here where it should belong to you scale it up a little bit so that it is fitting and why should I check it out it should be more or less the same size so this is this is okay yes okay and the same height as well and now I want to connect those um, those two parts with this long mm, wooden beams as well. Mm, let's think about this. I will take one of this and uh, where am I? Yes, sorry. Duplicate it and give it this position probably and 
we just need to pull this make this smaller so that this is connected but there's this little um, hole in it and uh, so that this is movable so this is still a movable object here and but I want to make this bigger so this is not just this size here so um, go to edit mode and make it bigger maybe just like yeah maybe just like this yes and it should be as well and this side bigger hmm so this is massive this should be a strong wood which is holding everything together mm -hmm. I think this is okay the only thing is I need to pull this as well a little bit front to the front so that we see this on the other side I like it so this gives it more geometry and more shape and this looks good as well okay so I want to create now this angle here as well so this is this part this little iron Mm, half circle here this is nothing special but hmm yes it should be round like I created this here as well um, so let me think about this how should I make this I duplicate it but escape it so that just the face is exactly at the same position go to vertice mode right click and merge vertice um, at center so now we have this little icon here <coughs> now I go to snap vertice cursor to selected now my cursor 3d cursor is here and when I creating now a new object it will be automatically placed here as well so um, I want to have this UV sphere which is a little bit too big so the rotation should be mm, 90 degrees I guess um, and here as well 90 degrees are oh, this is wrong sorry um, and the set axis as well 90 degrees so this is looking this side um, the segments and the size is way too big so probably something like this so segments I will go with 8 I guess 8 is enough and here 8 or 6 probably we go here with 6 as well this looks good and the size hmm, maybe slightly bigger so like this I think this is cool um, and the position to the x-axis should be somewhere here yes <clears throat> okay then I go to edit mode face selection and select the this edge loop here and I wanna delete it yes delete the inner part here as well and now edge mode and just pull this faces in there so that this is not a circle um, or um, a sphere anymore so now this gets this shape here it's round but it's going to this part in that part here perfect um i guess we will just first select this one then the other one and i will merge it and now you see that this is mirrored as well to the other side this is what i wanna 
and the only thing which this uh, which bothers me is now this oh I disabled it again I'm um, go to edit mode to vertex selection mode and we wanna delete this dissolve vertex so we deleted now everything so it's not only this vertex we removed all this edges as well so and what will be the last part before we end this part of this tutorial series so um, I just want to build up the basement of this hay chart and I will care about the wheels the next time and I guess as well the top part here but I want to create now this iron thing here which is as well very important for the shape and the visual effect of this so we just need to bring back in object mode the, the 3d cursor with right click snap and then cursor to select it and then it's again here in the middle and this is what I wanna I just wanna create now this half shape here which will be pretty similar like the sphere here I just um, create a new object this will be a cylinder and this cylinder should be moved to this position here the scale should be as well big oh the depth uh, the radius should be bigger and the segments as well so I guess I will continue yes this is basically the best ah, 10 10 is the best so we have here on this side one two three and I like this this round shape is enough um, then the set move it slightly to the top okay it's enough and the dev is not enough okay okay I made it now wrong <clears throat> and again in object mode don't press any number numbers so you you disable your collections with this with this doing mm -hmm. so make it bigger because this is what I missed the last time and I connect this vertices here Mm, basically I wanna just this object yes so and connect this vertices because I want to select all of this and delete it <clears throat> yes now go to edge selection mode bring back the rest um, go to side view again and oh okay this is not what I wanted I just want to move it this is enough check it out is it good no this is not that good so I think personally this is too high so bring it down so this is the difference from 2d to 3d sometimes the 2d concept is not in complete harmony with the 3D object, so you need to make a decision when you're modeling. So, okay, is this ver is this as well looking good in 3D shape than in 2D concept? So, I personally think this is too much and so too high. Fill this because we don't need this anymore. And I will just oh, sorry, just connect it. Mm. and probably this is already enough we don't need here and 
any more vertices. I think this is cool. Yes. Okay. And now we are able to duplicate this. <coughs> Bring it down. Mm, yeah, this should be somewhere here. This position looks good. Mm -hmm. and the only thing which is missing is this middle point here. This is this stuff which is connecting here. And this will be as well the, the last thing. Maybe I will put them here as well, some of those. Hmm. <laughs> it would be looks nice if I delete this first go to edit mode and I want to make here an edge loop yep now <coughs> again I duplicate it and I will select both of them, merge them, go to edit mode, the face selection mode and delete those two faces and select now this edge and this edge and make a bridge as well here and here and here and here. So uh, this is hard to see. But now we connected this pieces with it and I like it more like this. This is a small add-on to my doing here. So, and now let's come to the last thing, this middle sting here. <coughs> um, where's the origin? Where's the 3D cursor? Okay, so again, mesh, cylinder, but this will be a little bit different, so I will move it somewhere here. Then lower the radius, something like this. The vertices will be three, six, I guess. And the depth will be as well hmm, bigger. Is six enough? Yes, I guess six is enough. Okay, and this is it. Go just to edit mode, take this, make it a little bit smaller, take this here as well, um, make it sm make it like this probably, and this is fine like this I guess. Um, yep, so this is my current state and I think it's it's coming now coming along nicely and Yeah, we will continue the next in the next episode and I'm looking forward to continue here with you guys So thank you very much for watching if you have any questions or if you have any ideas uh, okay, Simon, you do this a little bit too slowly. There's a, not a, another option how to do this. Uh, you can give me any feedback if you want or if there's a mistake or anything like this. Keep in mind this is Blender 2.8. This is just my way how to do model things. And yeah, if you like the video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. This would help us a lot. Thank you very much and till the next time. Cheers.